Hello, this is the four wire trailer harness installation for the 2019 Toyota Prius, the Echo Edition. This is a recording to show you how to uh, make up and install this four wire harness. This is the overall plan, the overall drawing or blueprint of the installation. You may want to take note of this, take a picture, draw it down, jot it down, whatever you need to do, because this right here is the meat of the installation. This has most of the, of the information that you will be using for this installation. It is a simple four wire installation. Uh, this installation uh, only gives you the brake lights when you depress the brakes and you turn signal lights. First step is to identify your turn signal wires and your stop light wires. You want to differentiate between the two because those are two different circuits on your vehicle, again on your Toyota Prius, and they are different colors so you have to to identify you have to go to each light tail light to identify which wires are used for your turn signals and which wires are used for your stop light to take the tail lights you just remove those two bolts it's a great and smart design that easily allows you to remove the tail lights. Remember to be easy with those uh, bolts. Don't torque them with any kind of uh, power tool. Just use a nut driver. I believe it's a 10 millimeter. And then once you remove those screws, easily wiggle the light straight back. Do not apply any extreme force. At any, at any time because you may break uh, some of the tabs and some of the fasteners uh, which is something that you really do not want that's the cover that you need to remove you just have to pry with a plastic pry tool around the edges of that cover and then pull out very gently once you remove the light the light, the light assembly, the tail light assembly, uh, you will see different light plugs with different wires. You notice that there is a white and black striped wire going to each uh, light plug. That's your ground. And you have different color wires coming out of each. The one you want for your tail light is the very bottom colored wire or green and yellow that is a view of the other tail lights that is for your turn green and yellow is for your amber turn signal as you can see is the bottom plug or light plug as you can see right there the tail light on the bottom side is your stop light. That's what comes on when you depress on the brake. The top area of the light is your marker light or your low tail light. That is what comes on when you turn your lights on and they remain on while the vehicle is in operation. So you want to differentiate between the two. The brake lights is the one with the blue and white wire with the black stripe. The marker or low tail light is the one with the green and white wire with the black stripe. The blue wire uh, is on the bottom. That's your high tail light or the tail, the tail light that comes on when you depress on the brake. 
that is a view as you look at it from the top you can see the marker light is the one on the upper position that's another view again labeled right there for your convenience top view of uh, the bottom part of that light assembly and this is just identifying the wires this is not where we want to into the wire I'll show you that here so find your stop light wires near the center of the cargo area so those wires that we just identified we have to follow through done that and have, have identified where they are where they go and it's in the center rear of the cargo area you need to where you where you need to go remove these panels first remove the center uh, trim panel it's on the rear inside of your cargo area by snapping this one out with a pry tool I recommend you use a plastic pry tool so you don't damage it it's a small center panel that off both sides and then the larger center panel again on the rear inside of your cargo area you have to remove those two uh, cargo rings or loops that you see there already removed from those spots there on the sides one on each side And then you have that area exposed. You can see already the harness with the blue and green wire shown. So this is the harness. It has two connectors. Omit all of the other wires. Just focus on these three. Blue, green, and the black, and the white wire with the black that's your high tail light low tail light and your ground another view of that so you will have to split cut and splice these so you have to remove those protector tubings very gently remove the tape that high quality electric electrical tape you may want to save that as much as you can because it is recommended that you reuse that tape you will not find that high quality tape in the stores now you have to identify your trailer harness wire purpose and color so that should be easy because they should be labeled if you have uh, purchased a quality harness such as the one shown but just for your convenience there is the labeling and the colors for each connector and its purpose again this is the trailer connector harness on the other end you want to strip out and expose the copper expose the copper on each wire now cut and splice the wires on the car side to the trailer harness in the center rear cargo area for this I used this blue sized ferrules I believe those are the right size you're going to need about five of these and these are the wires that you will be cutting and splicing do not again again say do not cut the green wire it is not necessary for you to cut it or splice it in this pressing in this uh, procedure I did that because I am going to 
attempt to uh, wire in the marker low light low tail lights if you are going to do this then go ahead and follow along however if you're going to do the simple break on break off lights uh, as the four wire uh, harness requires then just do not cut the green wire cut the blue and cut the white with the black stripe this shows a view with the wires spliced I did a uh, first if you want to focus where the white wire is the white wire from the trailer harness is spliced to one side of the thin white wire there of the car and then it's spliced to the other side of that connector that basically taps the, the bigger or thicker ground wh white wire from the harness into the car wiring next focus on the brown wire from the harness the brown wire is spliced into what looks like a Y splice with two wires sticking out this is not necessary you can uh, skip that step and splice the brown wire directly to the green wire on one side and then splice that to the green wire on the other side of the car and I will show you here how that looks in a second in a in a few minutes now locate the car turn signal and stop light wires behind the side panels in the cargo area start with the left side that is the driver side first you have to remove two quarter or uh, half dollar size uh, covers and that will expose a screw on the screw you can take out with a Phillips screwdriver or a number 10 nut driver again the same thing on the other side excuse me on the rear side the same left left side or driver side you have two of those once you do that you can easily snap out very gently snap out that panel you do not have to remove that panel entirely just enough so you can get your hand in there easy with these paneling uh, the light bulb for the rear area uh, will have to be removed make sure you take that out gently from the lens there's another view of that light make sure you remove it gently and once you get in there inside of that panel you'll see the tail light plug or harness that you can see and it has the wiring that you are looking for which is your turn signal wire again the green wire with the yellow stripe unplug it by pushing on the tab that's on top of the plug cut back the insulation or the uh, jacketing be very careful not to t cut any of the wiring expose the wiring and you'll see uh, this is a view from the tail light just locating the uh, the green and the green wire with a yellow stripe which is your amber turn signal wire so and that's the same one at the connector side 
Now you're going to splice, you're going to cut and splice onto the car turn signal wire that you just uh, found behind that panel. Cut the wire, leaving enough, enough length on each side to make the splice. Make sure it's clean and you do not do this, do not cut more than once. That way the wire will have enough length to be spliced and not um, disturb the shape and reach of that plug. I know these steps are maybe a bit tedious, but they are necessary. Take your time and be extremely careful. If you're not familiar with wiring, splicing, and doing uh, a little bit of electrical work, you may want to get some help, get some help with this, or um, get some, at least get some supervision from someone that's familiar with doing this type of work. Make sure you get a piece of wire long enough to go all the way to the middle of the uh, cargo area about it's going to be about three to four foot long and make sure it's a wire that it's different from the other side you're going to use two long pieces of wire about two four foot pieces of wire make sure they are both different from each other in one way or another I'm using a blue wire with a white stripe for the left and a blue solid wire on the right side of the vehicle so you're going to splice that wire that you use into the that one side doesn't really matter which side but I believe this side is a bit better to splice the other end as such that way you're just basically tapping into the circuit into that wire with the blue wire. You're tapping into the green wire with the yellow stripe with the new blue wire. Put your jacket back on, use quality electrical tape, wrap it around and it should look as such clean and put the connector back on. Make sure you do not damage anything. That is a view there of the connector on with the wire coming out. You should route that blue wire to the bottom and into the rear. I have shown it uh, routed through that uh, hole there that has a little panel, but I, you should really wire it or route it inside of the panel and into the rear. Put the light back on, put the panel back on, push it into place gently on the uh, front and the rear. Put your fasteners back on very gently. Put the lids back on. Lids. Now go to the right side and do the exact same thing. Again, your amber light is on the bottom there of the of the tail light assembly that comes off that, that you removed earlier. So that'll tell you that that plug is the one that you want the to follow back. Again, it's the same color wires on the other side green with you remove the panels as such again you have to remove the fasteners just like the other side expose the harness it is on the same location as the other side more or less now splice the wire onto the car turn signal wire on that location Make your cut again with enough with enough wire on each end. I recommend you leave about two inches 
on the plug end and then make your splice as clean as, as, as possible again get some help if you are unsure or unfamiliar or unexperienced doing that splice because you may badly mess up that plug you may cut it too short you may uh, do the splice wrong and then you have a short wire then you may have uh, you may not have enough wire to work with and then that plug may need to be replaced altogether so make sure that you get this right the first time that is your splice taped up ready to go make sure that you leave that jacket make sure you just cut the jacket uh, so it can expose the wire and then it could be wrapped up again and replaced and taped up with quality tape put the plug uh, back onto the car frame there's a snap-on or slide-on uh, adapter there that you should be able to put the plug now take the left and right turn signal spliced wires and route them to the rear center cargo area and splice to the rest of the trailer harness wires and this is another uh, view of the same drawing same sketch showing you what we're trying to do in the end that is our goal keep in mind uh, these uh, colors wires locations etc again this is your color code it should be on your harness but it is here just for your convenience so this is basically when you go back to the center area how your harness will be wired again ignore the Y splice the brown should go to the blue spliced into the blue right again do not cut the green wire that should be that should remain uncut if you happen to cut it splice it back in and the, uh, the harness the trailer harness and green wire goes into your right turn car wire that you just pulled from the right side your yellow should go to your left turn wire the one you pulled first again I used blue and white stripe for the left and solid blue for the right that is the finished product there the finished harness notice one wire the blue with white stripe goes to the left left turn signal and the solid blue goes to the right right turn signal the green and blue wires uh, the blue wire is spliced to the brown the green is unspliced it's not going to any other wire it's just staying in the vehicle and the ground is going to the white wire which is also white on the harness So now that the harness is finished, let's reinstall all the panels. Again, put the rear panel on. That's on the bottom of the cargo area towards the rear. Put the two loops on. That's the cargo loops. As such, use a number 10 or 10 millimeter 
uh, socket or nut driver and then just snap that middle small panel remember there is a cover for that square uh, hole in the, in the left side of the rear cargo area panel put that cover back on as such make sure you put your fasteners on those the ones with the uh, da, uh, quarter size and half dollar size round cover make sure you put your tail lights back on very gently push straight forward align very closely and then push straight forward towards the front of the vehicle and then fasten your screws or bolts very gently you do not have very much put your panels covers back on very gently same thing on the other side so the finished harness sticks out from the panels down into the trailer hitch that's why it is about uh, two and a half to three feet long that should be enough length to reach any plug uh, from a trailer and it is this harness it is stowed away inside of the vehicle in the cargo area after each use you can hide it under the rug under the any kind of weather uh, mat that you may have or you may just leave it just laying there in the rear cargo area this is how it may look after all this go ahead and reinstall any cargo area components you may have removed I removed these cargo area panels put those back on. remember those have screw type fasteners on each side one on each side make sure you put your mats back on. are ready to go that is the stowed away harness ready to be pulled out uh, and connected to a trailer thank you very much for watching